Attention! Attention! And now we welcome to the grand trivia stage our great leader, our grand aquarium emperor, the trivia master of this age, the past age, the upcoming age, and ages unknown. Please welcome Grand Trivia Master Fluval. Oh, that was a bad noise. Sorry, Master. Let's try again. Fluval. Oh, that's not so. Uh, we must find the noise to pay tribute to all five dimensions you hold in your control. Yes, the fake trumpet for Fluval. Hello and welcome to Grand Trivia, the only trivia show in any dimension where the points do matter and losing will cost you everything. I'm Fluval, Grand Trivia Master of the Grand Aquarium Empire Network, and with me, as always, is intern Fake Rocks. Hello, I'm intern Christy. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome. to Grand Trivia. Hail Fluval. Hail me. Hail Fluval. This week we have 10 questions all about theme parks. Ooh. Ah. Thank you for the scream. Magnificent. Full aloof. Magnificent. Now, Fluval. Yes. Mm, speaking of theme parks, I have had. I'm putting together a little surprise for you. Mm, I've put together a little oh. surprise for you. That's right. I have had the interns working. Um. Uh, it's like 24-7, but it's more like 24-7 squared because we do exist outside of time and space. Yeah, we do. Uh, creating an amusement park for you, Fluval. Are you so excited to see your surprise? I'm so your excited amusement park to see the like? beautiful amusement park you made to inflict suffering in my name. Behold. We're, we're in it right now. It ended up looking exactly th l like this, like the Grand Trivia. It Actually, Grand Trivia is sort of the optimal amusement park for you. Cause yes. It, it's the way it ex So this is a it's new studio. Beautiful. It looks exactly the same, but I, I promise I've had interns recreating every tiny detail. That's right. Only the best. It's for you. so beautiful. It's everything I ever wanted, except hmm. For you to join our game of trivia by going to crowd.live and entering the room code PTG4Q, a B amusement park, perhaps. A perhaps. B amusement? It's like an A list celebrity versus a B list. Yeah, celebrity, celebrity. deathmatch at the middle of the park every day. <laughs> the verisimilitude is astounding. Okay. Yes, I'm very proud of those interns. I only had to punish like maybe three or four of them. Okay, more like more like fifteen of them. There's a light reflecting in your glasses that looks like googly eyes. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you got to tilt your head up a little bit. There we go. See? Oh, oh, oh that is fantastic. That's the right. This stream really did a good job on this. Brought to you by the multiverse. It's googly eyes all the way down. All the way. Yes. Face in the void wants a good, clean fight. But you can join our game of trivia by going to crowd.live and entering the room code PTG4Q or clicking the link pinned in the top of the chat. Just like Single Walk Roller Coaster, <laughs> Missy Toad's Wild Ride, Lightning, Nathan Lane, Roller Coaster of Love, Six Blogs, Great Adventure, and Bushala Garduala. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm intern Christy. Thank intern you so much. Googly. Thank you so much. Um, Not to be confused with intern Googie. True. 
Fluval. What? I have a question for you. Okay. What of the previous items that we just saw yeah. on Miss Calls with the former randoms would you mm, want for yourself? Larry Birdhouse. Larry Birdhouse. Larry Bird, truly. Birdhouse. Yeah, I mean, think about it. it. Like that had to be painful doing that to Larry Bird. That's true. That's true. I thought that it was going to be one of the like raccoon individuals. Mm, the crocodile little person's pretty good. The crocodile person, the yeah. shot, the socially anxious fellow. Oh, or those creepy flat <laughs> flesh lumps dirty. we stumbled on that had Ooh, the flesh no lumps. eyes. They really. It felt like. Um, I, I have no mouth, but I must scream. Exactly. Just grungy in that way. Love that. Love that. Buff Squirtle. Buff Squirtle. Oh, yeah. Buff Squirtle is pretty good, but it doesn't inflict yeah. suffering as much on like, lowly humans who witness it. Oh, True. and hello. We have two more people who Ooh, joined. Welcome. We have a mister named Six. Do, 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 And Sufferland. And of course, Sufferland. Six, six, six flags. <laughs> and of course, we should mention that whoever wins but will get. Squirtle. <laughs> we'll ship some. We'll ship. Every, there'll be a prize that's just for the person whoever wins. So the person whoever wins. Yes, the person whoever so if wins. You're new to this. Will you might win. be the person mm. whoever wins. A true human prize. It will go third dimensionally. It will be, use your mail systems. Yes. yes, it will appear in your dimension, and there will be glitter. There will be glitter, much like Missy showed off. But I think we've given yes. them time to join our game, so let's right. get it started. You can join once it's underway if you're late or if you just decide you want to. Oh, hello, Potanicus. Potanicus. living with the land. Ooh. Do you know what that is referencing? No. Okay. Well, then that means, of course, bef even before our trivia starts, it's time to go to... Tanicus is an Asgosian from the Green Planet. Oh, okay. From okay. E.T. the Ride. Potatoes, potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. And this is Botanicus, right? Botanicus right here. And yes, they're from the Green Planet. They do. Okay, okay. Botanicus, he's from a green planet. That's it. They're, That's they're, just E.T., right? Well, but no, is it's that... the same species as E.T., but okay. it's not E.T. Okay. But it's a big podcast, The Ride reference. I feel like we could destroy that planet. I feel like they have reached some kind of Star Trek utopia, and therefore they're suffering. Well, I mean, let's losing see. losing it would let's be Let's see if we could. Stunning. Seems like we could. Stunning. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> well, why don't we get our that game of trivia it. underway then with that suffering yes. fresh yes. in our minds yes. and in our hearts. Our game is starting. <laughs> Ouch. My butt. A true story. <laughs> you know, I'm my butt hole. Countdown ah, just to toy a with story. you all. Ooh, canonically Star Wars. Yes, of course. Yeah, they're a senator Sharks. from the Galactic Republic. Mm-hmm. But now that we made you suffer by stopping uh, the countdown, lore. we're just going to skip it. Here we go. Question one. Which was the first franchised theme park in the United States? And this is a returning question from a previous episode of Grand Ooh. Trivia. So eagle eyed listeners may have heard it before. Was it Disneyland, Great America, Santa's Village or Six Flags? Hmm. Wait, I shouldn't have picked so quickly. Probably not. But, of course, <gasps> the quicker you answer, not. the higher you score. But also, the quicker you answer wrong, the more points you lose. It's true. It's a, a double-edged sword there. Yes. Just the way I like my swords. Big, big guess. guess. Okay. My favorite kind of guess. Big. Six flags in my bed. Wait. Oh. Missy has a clarification. Oh. Six not flags in your bed. That's okay. Uh, yeah, you don't necessarily mm -hmm. want to just file random guesses. It's true. There's strategy. It's all in the suffering. All in the suffering. Aha! 
It would either be a ran bunch of previous questions or just a bunch of a bunch of clips scenes. that people put on Twitch. And or clips of things that maybe you don't remember because yeah. they didn't happen in your dimension. Perhaps. <laughs> but you'll still be asked about them. Suffering! Love the suffering. None of these layouts work great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Uh... Okay, okay. There, now I'm kind of in. <laughs> You're kind of in. We can't really hail Fluval without more Fluval, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, I think I may have... Mm, Isn't this the best time to tweak your layout? There we go. It. Well, yeah, it's for their suffering. Yeah, mm. no, suffer as we correct our stream layout. Yes. <laughs> uh, we're all about streams here in the Grand Aquarium Empire Network. There uh, we Emperor go. Aquion. Many aquarium live in streams, you know? It's okay. kind of a hot bad. So none of you thought it was Disneyland. And two of you, none of you thought it was Great America. Eight of you said Santa's Village. Mm. Three of you said Six Flags. And well, only one of these answers is correct. <gasps> Which, Which is isn't it? a given on this show. But it's Santa's Village. Oh. The first one sense. opened in Lake Arrowhead, California in 1955. Mm. And the second opened in Scotts Valley, California in 1957. And the third opened, well... Why don't we take a look at this ad for the third True. one? Ooh. So you can really absorb it yourself. Yeah, this is big streamer shit. It is because we actually inhabit the biggest streams being um, Aquarium. I am not Aquarium. But, you know, it's the Grand Aquarium Empire Network. Um, you. That's Taco Bell ad. Oh, wonderful. Better. This is the ad. Watch. Out. Okay, I will. Better, better not. not. I'm on the edge of my seat about what I better not. Well, it's Santa themed, remember? I mean, it looks like it's goat themed. Yeah, remember, this is a. So there he is! is hot. Get a free he's ticket Santa to Santa's Village from Cheerios when you buy toothpaste from Cheerios. Again, the first Santa's village was Santa's in a village. Taco Bell. It's in Bell. East Dundee, Illinois, where it opened in 1959. And again, Santa is hot. That's the thing to remember from this. Santa the Dundee is location. Hot. Santa is hot. Santa village from Cheerios hot. when you buy two tickets at regular price. Oh, uh -huh. and there's Santa is hot. There's the wonderful creepy Burger King again. He sees you when you're sleeping. Yeah, I like that it's Ooh. better watch out. Better not cry. Like, are we gonna st are we gonna get a minor key acapella of a Christmas song now? Like, is this the the modern movie about a complicated Santa? It does really Santa? feel like it, doesn't it? He sees you when you're sleeping. Where I I cannot I cannot music. He it knows turned into a Gregorian when chant. When you're awake, he knows. He knows if you've been bad or good. Thank you so much. <laughs> so be good. I'm gonna reset those counts too, so we can actually count your planet destroys in this episode oh. of the show. Not Whoa. Oh, overall. okay. And it says the stream is over because we've reset our planet destroys. Yeah, stream's not over. That part was a lie to inflict suffering on you. Mm. The stream's gonna keep going on. Exactly. Easy, well, howdy, easy. partner. And they're all masculine. Yeah. Patriarchy. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. Have you seen the new Apple Eye, like, vision stuff? I swear, it's almost like you are trying to end late stage capitalism who will survive. Like, the race <laughs> season's early. <laughs> the stream is over. I'm suffering. Suffering. The stream is not over. I can't believe they ended the stream. Suffering for you. Why don't Confusion. we start the stream again with question with our Wonderful. leaderboard? Where Missy Toad's <gasps> Wild Ride is in first. A Mr. Named Six. Do 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 isn't tied for first. Bushala Gardwala in third. Six Blogs Great Adventure in fourth. Lightning and Nathan Lane in fifth. Sufferland. Sufferland. Suffer, Sufferland. 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 In sixth, Roller Coaster of Love. In seventh, Potanicismo Living with the Land. In eighth, Well Howdy Partner. In ninth, Six Fools. In Ooh. tenth, 
666 flags in 11th. <laughs> and single walk roller coaster in 12th. Sometimes you can hear us in the previous show, and sometimes we go to question two. <laughs> Whichever more came first? The fantasy theme park or Taylor Swift's album Evermore? Whichever more came first? Mm. That Anyone? is fair, well, howdy, partner. Yeah, when you when you haven't answered a question yet, you a do have zero points. A big old goose egg, which is wonderfully more than some people. What? So Evermore is what? a fantasy theme park in Utah and a Taylor Swift album. Yes. Which came first? This clock here represents the inevitable passing of time. For you, not for us. Yes. Uh, plus, for the yes. Jenny Nicholson video on Evermore Theme Park. Definitely uh -huh. not. Definitely not a source for this question. Everyone should be watching Jenny it's Nicholson a, video is on great. YouTube. Uh, and you should suffer if you haven't already. <laughs> he said, Captain. I said, what? Banking on Theme Park being based on the album. Okay, that's a strategy. Uh, you haven't really all should. watched multi-hour videos of one particular YouTuber talking about various theme parks? Or mm. the Vampire Diaries. Or Bronies. Or a, a big spider she bought in Arizona that used to be in an FAO Schwartz. It's huge. It's, it's so huge. big. But let's see what you picked. Okay, so ten of you went fantasy theme park. Mm -hmm. One of you went Taylor Swift album. Okay. I presume that's a whom named Maddie. Mm-hmm. But whom will be victorious? <laughs> we yes. are all pro Jenny here. And yes. Oh, that would be great. Oh, yeah. It's the theme park. The fantasy theme park ha! opened in Utah on September 20th, 2018. Suffering! Suffering who? Oh, I, I can see how everyone votes, too. Suffering! Suffer from your lack of privacy. Suffer! So the album came out in 2020, and in February 2021, Evermore Park sued Taylor Swift. Yeah! Alleging copyright infringement. Her team then countersued, accusing the park of playing her music without approval, which they definitely did. And in March 2021, both sides dropped the suit. Yeah, so yeah, watch that I used video. To work with Wanda Sykes. Evermore was meant to be a giant, um, immersive theme park yeah. where individuals were characters that would remember you and give you quests, like a giant role play park. And would even remember you across visits, yes. so that you could like actually make a like deep relationship with the character. Mm -hmm. Um and. And that went just about as yeah. well as you can expect. Yeah. And they don't really have like a ton of rides or anything either. They mostly yes. have a slow train. She shook them off. Shook them off. Off. Yeah. 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 And the Wendy. actors, of course, yeah. have to play, stay in character for like eight hours in a row. They were treated just longer. about as well yeah. as the actors that are currently on strike. Yeah. So you can imagine exactly. how well Very they're Exactly. Very much treated. what Galaxy's Edge was initially sold to be. Yes. Minus the interactive games where if you crash the Falcon, the bartender will be mad at you. <laughs> I do love that. I do feel very bad for that bartender. And I do not think the bartenders should also have to like look at a, like a thing to how for how they treat particular guests. Well, great that news. sounds insane. Great news, they never did. <laughs> they said they would at Celebration, but they never did. Thank God. They don't even wish you bright suns reliably anymore as you leave. Bright suns? No. Wonderful. But we wish you to the leaderboard where Missy Toad's wild ride is in first. Bushala? Bushala. I keep pronouncing it every way except the correct way. <laughs> <laughs> Bushala Gardwala in second. <laughs> Six Blogs, Great Adventure in third. Sufferland in fourth. Lightning Nathan Lane in fifth. Botanicus, Mo Living with the Land in sixth. Roller Coaster of Love in seventh. Well, Howdy Partner in eighth. 666 Flags in ninth. A Mr. Named Six. In tenth. Six Fools in eleventh. And single Who walk roller it? coaster in 12th. Who was it? Well, I, don't worry, Who I can tell you. Who was it? Um, I do like that if you crash the Falcon at Evermore, the bartender will be upset. He sometimes doubles as the Falconer, and that is his boy. Yeah. You have crashed his boy. How dare you? 
The uh, only person, according to the crowd activity tab, who voted for Taylor Swift's album is a miss, a Mister named Six. A Mister named Six. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder who that could be. Whom that could be. <laughs> That's true. Trivia's secondary objective is a fluval tongue twister game. <laughs> Clearly, my non-Euclidean tongue gets tripped up sometimes. It's true. It's quite non-Euclidean. Yeah, as is question three. We got rid of all the Euclids. <laughs> True or false, in 2011, an official World of Warcraft theme park opened in China. Is that true or is that false? I am obsessed with that little gif. That's one of the dance options in World of Warcraft, that the should have massively been, multiplayer online RPG. That should have been intern Christie's NPC move. Yeah. Like, yeah, that would have been good. Also, yeah, check out the you most recent Eric it. Stravaganza from last Friday. Where we, where the NPC Fluval and NPC Intern Command went on and destroyed planets. <laughs> that groin, yeah, at least six points. That is a mobile groin. All of those joints, fluid, working nicely. This person clearly is taking care of their body. Amazing planet destroy. We always love planet destroy. Too hot for Twitch. Um, I feel that way about Fluval sometimes. Uh, yeah. His greatness is just it's too great so for warm. Um, I think I may have guessed too fast. And I think I picked the wrong answer. Suffering! We love it. <laughs> so many planets were destroyed. That is very true. Um, I think this was so... a trick question. Okay, well, that's a strategy. We have some people I thinking mean, I do do that, that it's a trick. Is it true? Are you a risk taker? We'll see. We'll see when we find out the correct answer. What did they think, Laval? Well, what they said is mm. 10 of them said true, two of them said false. They actually opened a China park in World of Warcraft. Yes, there's a Chinatown, but it's like a theme park version of, of Chinatown is in uh, it, it's in World of Warcraft it is in World of Warcraft it's true mm -hmm. but is it the is the answer correct through is that well, let's find out is it fluval it's false <gasps> it's false and you know why it's false why because it's unofficial <laughs> oh! <laughs> Suffering! <laughs> Missy fucking knew it! Missy tried and you didn't listen! You didn't listen, you suffering From Euro stupid gamer. third dimensional being! This is a look at the amazing unlicensed Chinese World of Warcraft Hell amusement park. It was called Listen World Joyland. To yourself. Oh, but it was not licensed so or beautiful. endorsed by Blizzard or Activision. Oh, oh stunning. Stunning, Fluful. My cod. Just when I think that this show can't reach any higher heights, Fluful, you do it again. I am I always aim for the higher heights. I know fishial. <laughs> like they, they, they. Missy's never wrong. Ha ha! You they all. They put so yourselves. much money into this park. That is gorgeous. Too. Yeah. Like that is really lovely. I'm non never wrong. Non canonical suffering. Yes. Non. Like, Unofficial like suffering. Jaina Proudmore, right there from Wow. Like wow. They, <laughs> they're not. They're not messing around with this park. Damn. I mean, it's not only. Wait, a world that's of, Kung Fu Panda. What, yes, but it is also <laughs> World of Warcraft. Kung Fu Pandas in World of Warcraft? Essentially, yes. Okay. Because there's the Pandaren. I see. Who hail from a secret island. Hail Faluva. And they're pandas who love beer, nature, and uh, no <laughs> martial arts. I'm glad they love beer. Um, yeah. that's something that... They don't always look like Kung Fu Panda, but, you know... They are Kung Fu Panda. Like, and they predate Kung Fu Panda. Ooh, okay. 
That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Like the Pandaren go back to it. Uh... So it sounds like whoever made Kung Fu Panda was playing a little wow mm, and thought to themselves, wow. Yeah, the Pandaren go back to World of Warcraft. Sorry, to Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne. Oh, I see. Cult, slippery. Uh, you would want a fuzzy ass. Which was 2003. So happy. Tw- oh, and it was July 1st, 2003. Yeah. So happy belated 20th birthday to the Pandaren. Who? I like that sci fi font. I wonder if it reads Hell X. F- Does it read the fool. XX? Well, because the, the, the C. Taylor right? Swift did it in America. Taylor Swift the, did the it in The copyright laws vary by, by nation. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be allowed to just go rogue and build a wow. Allowed. Yeah, allowed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but now we are allowed to go to our leaderboard where Patanicus Mo living with the land oh. is in first. Well, howdy, partner. Well, howdy, Moseying partner. all the way up to second place. Sufferland well, suffering in third. Suffer. Bushala Gardoala in fourth. <laughs> Missy Good Toad's job. Wild Ride in fifth. Six Blobs Great Adventure in sixth. Lightning Nathan Lane in seventh. Mm. Roller Coaster of Love in eighth. <laughs> A Mister Named Six. Do 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 in ninth. Tied with Six Fools, and then Six 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 Flags. The Flags of the Beast in eleventh. And single rock roller coaster <laughs> in wealth. How did you find my aim away message? Trivia. <laughs> yeah, Fluval always used this for the chat rooms in the 90s. Yes. I would just pose questions to people in random chat rooms. And- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for following us. Well, howdy, partner. You, you just so became much. better than other lowly you humans. Are much better than other lowly third dimensional beings. Yeah. Unicode text. Unicode. Mwah. Unicode is ready. <laughs> But are they ready for the next question? I mean, Gorilla that's what Leela is asking with that theremin. Yes. But let's find out. In 2024, <laughs> Indianapolis's Holly Holiday World will open a roller coaster themed around which Thanksgiving staple? Cranberry sauce, gravy, mashed potatoes, or turkey? What? Okay, all right. So there's going to be what a question based around is? one of these foods. I know what the right is. But what, what does everyone think these rides would look like? I think the cranberry sauce one would be like the spinning teacups. Oh. Like you so would it's a, be it's in a roller the sauce. Coaster. Oh. Oh, well, the gravy would be fun because you could like go up to like the thing that's pouring the gravy and then right, go down could. the gravy. You fucked up. Holy shit. I hope my misclick was the correct one. Suffering. Suffering. Any of these has potential. That is true. Uh, how can there be trivia about the future? Fluval does exist outside of time and space. I'm with him here outside they, of time and they've space. They announced it. And Fluval also knows what will happen in the future. He kind of uses that prophetic perfect tense from the Bible where you talk about future events as though they've already happened. Well, no, I mean, they've, they've, they've announced happened. it too. Gravy. So let's find gravy. out. It's all gravy. By watching this promo Something trailer. Something savory is coming. The silver has been polished. The green beans have been casserole. The turkey has been stuffed. The cranberry is jelly is out of the can. Also, the family is all here. The table is set, and the okay. gravy. Wow, this is, is unnecessarily horny. What is the Baldur's Gate ready? <laughs> That's a good point, CBC. Where's the gravy? Where's the gravy? Good gravy! How'd we run out? Oh, did you? It's time to go over the river and through the woods to gravy, grandmother's house baby. We go with to grandmother's good house gravy. We go. Right? America's graviest coaster. Yeah, you ride a gravy train. The roller coaster car is a gravy train. Slander things with the toys. Oh, Thanksgiving that, dinner boy. has flown by, but never Ooh, quite like were this. you? Your journey is nearly 1,500 feet long. You'll soar over wow. 70 feet high. 
forwards and backwards on good gravy. Travel at speeds up to 37 miles per hour, all Prince in the world's largest gravy boat. Gee willikers, that's some good gravy. What ride? May 2024 yes. to a Thanksgiving theme section of a theme park, possibly near you. Possibly. Oh, well, because it might not be near you. Oh, that's true. Who knows where you live? Yes! So let's see what the answers were. Let's see what the distribution was. G Willikers. G. Jumpin' G Willikers, radioactive Jumpin man. Jumpin' G Willikers. Jumpin' G Willikers, radioactive man. That grandpa did know the assignment. He's Most like, of you I... thought gravy. Two of you said cranberry sauce, seven said gravy, three said mashed potatoes. Of course, gravy was correct. And well, howdy, partner, is taking first place. Oh, well, howdy. To first place. Sufferland is in second. Missy Toad's Wild Ride in third. Bashala Gardwala in fourth. Potanicus Mo Living with the Land in fifth. Roller Coaster of Love in sixth. <laughs> Jiminy Jillikers, you're right, it was Jiminy Jillikers. You passed the test, well, howdy, partner. Roller Jiminy coaster of Jillikers. love in six. Lightning Nathan Lane in seven. <laughs> six blocks, great adventure in eight. I hope someone got fired for that blunder. Six fools in nine. <laughs> well, whom named Maddie, you are um, creating the fast track to do so. Fluval has shared with me in his mind palace. I now know what answers you all give, and I am going to taunt you. Yeah. I'm going to taunt you. Well, this one's not an episode where each question is worth a thousand points either, so <laughs> you're not going to get as deep as some of the other ones might have. <laughs> Suffering. But let's see if your, if your road to the bottom continues with question five. Which of these is the oldest still mm. active theme park in California? Children's Fairyland, Gilroy Gardens, Knott's Berry Farm, or the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk? Wild ride from Missy so California far. California sun. From wrong to right, like a slingshot. Love the the turmoil, such suffering. Ah, uh, you gotta oh. love suffering. You gotta love some suffering in a game of trivia. What's trivia without suffering anyway? It's true. What is it? Fuck, fuck, fuck. What's up, Missy? You think fuck. you got it wrong? Good. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. 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 And potatoes molasses smells a trick. Smell a trick. I don't know what Maybe trick something's smell. getting. Oh. Trixie. Oh, Ooh, can you smell the answer? That's a good question. Um, and does it smell like gravy? No, I know what I know what Missy thinks is the answer. Then. Why can't trivia just be fun, Fluval? Ew, gross, disgusting, repulsive. Because suffering is fun for me. <laughs> trivia. <laughs> Suffering. Same picture. I see no difference. Okay. So one of you said Children's Fairyland. One of you said Gilroy Gardens. Mm -hmm. Nine of you said Knott's Berry Farm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes known as Knott's Scary Farm. <laughs> None of you thought it was the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. What's the correct answer? Oh. It's the Boardwalk. Oh. Yeah! Fluval triumphs <laughs> once again! Boardwalk, boardwalk, suffering! Because the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk opened all the way back sucked. in 1907. We all sucked, thank you, thank you. Walt Disney even mm. visited and took inspiration from the Boardwalk's Auto Rama ride to add the center guide rail to Disney's Autopia. Because before that, you could just drive anywhere you wanted. Should have known it was old as fuck. Children's Fairyland opened in 1950, and Frank Oz worked there as an apprentice puppeteer when he was a teenager. Walt Disney also visited there and took inspiration from the park Boardwalk. while he was making Disneyland. It is themed. It was themed to multiple things. The Big Dipper is ancient. The, the Big what? The Big Dipper. Okay. Did you hear Dicker? I heard Big Dick Burr. The Big Dick Burr. <laughs> it's not a duck themed roller coaster. 
Yeah, they just had yeah. pops. Um. But Children's Fairyland was also a thing Disney took inspiration from. So two mm -hmm. roughly Bay Area theme parks guided the creation of Disneyland. Yes. Gilroy Gardens is a horticulture themed Ooh. park and is actually the newest. Can we see some pictures? We can. I'm going to watch these. Actually, I have videos from each Ooh, of them. Ooh, a dick burr for my OnlyFans. Because <laughs> it was added Popeye for a while. That is a great ride. The log flume's great. The roller coaster, you can do the swim. Come on, everybody, you can walk right in. You can walk on the beach, and you can jump in the sand. You know what we'll do someday. Do the walk in Santa Cruz. Do the walk, do the beach for the walk. Yep. And so, yeah, that, that opened in 1907 and has been continuously operating ever since. And it's older than knots because they'll tell you it opened in the 20s. I take issue with that. Yeah. Because when it opened in the 20s, it was a roadside stand where the Knott family sold berries, berry preserves, and pies. And then in the 30s, it became a restaurant. It didn't have any, like, it was amusement not a theme park, park elements until the 40s when Walter Knott started building a replica ghost town. <laughs> But tell everyone, and especially you parents, that Knott's Berry Farm is giving a free ticket to each kid. Oh, I thought it was like there were no the kids family. allowed. No. Well, kids free. Like, kid free oh. night. And like, you can come and drink and go on the roller coasters. Free admission for kids February 11th through the 20th. Celebration of our birthday. Honestly, George. Would I lie? <laughs> Oh, Mike Carlson as Lincoln's gonna be great. Kids picture not welcome. These are exactly the kind of kids that will not be there. And this is a, a, a fairy's eye view of children's fairy Ooh, land. That's right, it's a drone. No, it's a fairy eye It's a view. fairy eye, I'm so sorry. And so it's, it's smaller than some of the other ones, but. I was gonna say just that like the Bay Area one, of course had like a fancy drone. <laughs> I mean, that does track, yeah. And look at that whale. Gotta take that layup. Fairies are nature's drugs. They are. They are. That is true. This is the one that gives you the best look at the actual park, but... Yeah. Uh, Isn't it cute? It's small enough that a 20-minute video could give you a look at the whole park. But I like that it's going with the carousel. That's a cute mm -hmm. trick. It's a very cute trick. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot the, of manic energy for the a human manic energy free. of the children's fairyland is also pretty intense. <laughs> um, and again, Frank Oz worked there as a puppeteer before he was Yoda. I had an incredible dream as a child that Arr. I was at children's fairyland, which I had only been to once or twice, and that I fell down a hole, like a whole deep hole, with the queen from the the heart queen of hearts from Alice in Wonderland and I couldn't get out of the hole and I was screaming and crying and when, when we, we went back I couldn't find the hole so I only have to assume that that memory didn't actually happen thank you Steven spell check so it pull does, up Tink it does become yeah. adults fairyland it does every once in a while where there's a no kids allowed night mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's like to raise money yeah it's a charity thing to fund the park Right, it could just like go around and around. Wonderful font. Yeah. And this is the newest logo design gorgeous. This is the newest park, Gilroy it's Gardens. It's very um Flintstone. If you think yeah. your kids have outgrown Gilroy Gardens, yeah, you did. Can. Yeah. Hey kids and grown ups will have a blast soaring through the sky on a giant mushroom swing. So yeah, they people say it's a horticulture park. They mean that there are rides based on plants, <laughs> not just that there's plants around taking a twirl and spinning garlic bulbs and braving the twists and turns on the Quicksilver Express coaster. Bring along some friends for the ultimate game of tag in the Oak Park Playground. At Gilroy Gardens, the I know it's a fun guy. Growing. Get tickets and season memberships now at gilroygardens.org. Now you can spin it in those garlic It does sound like the TikTok lady cloves. voice. It if does. If you think your kids have outgrown Gilroy Gardens, think again. Big kids and grown-ups will have a blast soaring I think through the it sky. Is. A, a mushroom swing. trip, you say? <laughs> just we're just gonna Yeah, where is the mascot? What is the mascot? 
of Gilroy Gardens. Do they have one? Is it disconcerting? Are they magical mushrooms? If they mushrooms? did, it would have to be garlic, right? Look, I believe in the oh, magic boy, do of they. a young girl's heart. Oh boy, do they. Hell full of law. Someone just got the trivia link. Trivia. It's pinned to the top of the chat, so you should be able to get trivia. it there. It's still anyone's game. Uh, Fluval. Oh! I don't know why that jump scared me, but it absolutely jump scared me. The cool garlic with sunglasses. <laughs> I don't know why it jump scared me. <laughs> I hate that the green looks more blue than green. That's I a really hate... good point. It's actually beneficial to come in late because you can't have you won't have as much time to get negative points. Exactly. I the hate sneakers. their weird shoes. Their weird shoes. So Why does can... only one have a nose? As you can tell, this park opened in two thousand and one. One doesn't. Does the one in the back have a braid? Yeah. Are, I think is it's that the, the girl. girl one? Yeah. Do we need to have a girl garlic and a boy garlic? Uh, Amaji Brilliant Park, where Queen Latifah has contracted 50 Cent and Kanye West to save her failing theme park from evil developers led by Chris Tucker? That sounds like a lot of suffering. It's a novel series. I love suffering. That's incredible. That is, that is amazing. The, wait, are we talking about like a series of books about 50 Cent, Queen Latifah, yeah. and... <laughs> Yeah, it's a Japanese light novel ah, series. That's amazing. And the main character's name originate. Or, or one of the main fennel. character's names originates from Kanye West. That's all accurate. Wow, that Do is incredible. Do they smell? That is is precisely the amount of niche. No, that is for gonna, this audience. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that is yeah, yeah, the yeah. correct amount of niche. So this is um, garlic. Yeah, girl garlic. Where are her garlic titties? That's what I want to know. Yeah. The is hired by the owner, Latifa Floranza, the princess of Maple Land, Look at the to become his new manager. Garlic. It is wild that that is. Wow. That is it. Is Suzu. Oh, is Suzu Sento. Name originates from 50 Cent. <laughs> that's, that's. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. This is incredible. Uh, what happens at the end? How do they win? You'll have to read the book. <gasps> To I want to find know the rest out, of the they plot. have two weeks to attract 100,000 visitors. Wow. <laughs> Wait, who are the people who are supposed to be on the cover? Not Queen Latifah or Chris Tucker. No, correct? that's the. This is the character. This character's name originates from Kanye, and this character's name originates from 50 Cent. I see. All right, so 50 Cent is like a hot anime girl. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Someone made Roller Coaster Tycoon fanfic. That is that is exactly what this sounds like. Princess Latifah. Yeah, it's the bringing down the house prequel. <laughs> Get X amount of visitors in Y time. I mean, how else would you save a park? Yeah. We have to put on one big show featuring all of our talents, and maybe we'll save the park. It, if it's good enough for the Muppets, it's good enough for that novel series. Oh, I forgot that you had just trixied all of these people. <laughs> yeah, I'm I so know. pleased. Let's go to the leaderboard. Wow, Ooh. a lot of negative scores there. Ooh. Only four. Sufferland in first place. Because it looks like they didn't answer that question. Ho -ho! <laughs> that was ho -ho -ho! smart. Ho -ho -ho! Well, howdy, partner, in second, still with positive points. Oh, yeah, City Skylines yeah. 2 is coming, so there's mixed zoning. Ooh. Finally. You can make a much more wild city. Ha-ha! And Bushala Gordala in third Get place. Get your neoliberal Winning by doing nothing like Luigi and Mario Party. Exactly well, howdy, partner. <laughs> Exactly. <sighs> yes. Uh, mixed zoning. Zoning. Ooh, not negative 100 wrong not for yet. answers today, baby. It's not too late, Apollo Koala. Let's see if you get not to that, that goal of yours with question six. A theme park dedicated to which of these foods opened in South Korea in 2004? Bread, cheese, kimchi, or pizza? Hmm. I like bread. I want there to be like a bread park and a cheese park, and I want them to be next to each other, like California yeah. Adventure and the rest of Disneyland. Though they're separate parks. 
But like, I want that to be like different. Yeah, like the bread park and the cheese park. And like, you have to like go from one to the other to like hunt to get your bread cheese mix. And there's no pizza there because there's no tomatoes allowed unless they're fresh tomatoes and they're cut like on a charcuterie board. I'm sorry, I'm talking about consuming matter. You Google. should be ashamed of yourself. I mean, I, yeah, I that is a repulsive even, third dimensional. I hate to uh, even treat. bring up this park. True. <laughs> the whole giant facility is on a platter. The whole facility it's is one, one big platter. It's one big platter. None of uh, you said bread. That's an What was that slander strategy. from a home named Maddie? Slander. So, five of you didn't say any of them. Zero of you said bread, mm. seven of you said cheese, four said kimchi, one said pizza. The correct answer is cheese. Oh, lovely. It's a cheese park. Too it's much It's Imsil better. Cheese Theme Park. Okay. Which features 32 acres of Swiss-inspired architecture mm. and attractions like a 4D theater, a cheese-shaped uh, observation tower, which huh. is this one. There's multiple cheese wheel buildings. Do they make special cheeses? Yes, there's alpine slide, alpine Ooh. slides, a petting zoo, playgrounds, factory tours, uh -huh. the fountain show, and hands-on cheese making opportunities. Fuck. Fuck. And they Fuck. have these cute little mascots. Kimchi is too obvious. That was the Those are yeah. Cute. That oh was why it was the trick answer, and oh. it was. Uh, the Imsil is actually where the where cheese was introduced oh. to the Korean diet back in 1958 okay. when a Belgian priest brought cheese and raised goats there and taught people how to make cheese. And then it became the cheese capital mm. of South Korea. That's pretty fun. I would love to try some South Korean cheese. Yeah, you can make cheese. You can make pizza also. There's a milk processing factory, multiple restaurants, and a science lab that teaches you the methods uh, oh, to make cheese. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, there's a lot of cheese in modern Korean stuff. Love that. But Love that. It looks very cool. There's also multiple YouTube videos of people mm. exploring the park, so you can see it yourself as well. I would think that a cheese um, theme park would be in Wisconsin, right? That's like the cheese place in America. That is where the cheese heads are. Uh, I you pick know pizza what? when there's trees. No, so you know what? Technically, yeah. I should get points. Oh, Adam Fig, you have convinced Fluffle to grant you points. They do make pizza. They do. They do. I mean, but then again, Fluffle. Oh, you know what? One B disagrees. Well, no one, no one answered Brad. Yeah, you don't get points anymore. Ah, really, your points got taken away, suffering. Because realizing the park isn't dedicated to pizza. Pizza True. is there as a vehicle for cheese. In the sake of it's suffering. Dedicated. It's dedicated to cheese. It's Imsil Cheese Theme Park, not Imsil Cheese and Pizza Theme True. Park. True. So why don't we go to our leaderboard? Our well howdy partner is in first place, well, Mushala Gardala in second. Botanicus, small <laughs> living with the land in third. Six 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 flags. six 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 flags. The evil flags <laughs> in thirteenth. Devil. Sufferland in fourth. Lightning Nathan Lane in fifth. Jazz Fats in Park Trivia makes Probably. the second time. Oh, because this is theme park trivia too. Ooh. It's our second episode of theme park trivia. The first one That's had a lot true. more Disney and Universal. Yes. And I had uh, a different <laughs> look. Mm. I fear not, none. Not powerful so much as early an enemy. Fluval fears none. Fluval fears none. Speaking of theme parks, here's question seven. Katy, Texas is home to a construction mm. equipment theme park called Build World, Construction Land, Dig World, or <laughs> The Land of Caterpillar. The Land of Caterpillar. That's my favorite. You know, the construction and equipment company. Oh, Caterpillar is a construction All the construction equipment, equipment stuff that just says cat on it. Uh-huh. Cat is short for caterpillar. I thought it was short for cat. No. Or like construction and... No, it's Caterpillar Time. Inc., the world's leading wow. manufacturer of construction equipment. But at least the Bay Area transit system is still BATS. Yeah, bat, well, that, yeah BATS is still here. Uh, they also make clothing. Yeah, they do. Phones. Yeah, they make merch. A, a meme park. A meme-themed meme park. That's 
Now that's a million dollar idea. Yeah. Full of loaf. Uh, look, there's, wait, what is in South Jersey? A meme park? No. Dig World. A const- another construction, oh, another construction theme, park theme park is in South Jersey and Gosh. Europe. That's bad shit crazy. Ow! Um, ah! Is that all of the rewards suddenly working? Because I do love that. Possibly. Ooh, when B found something so Which sus. rewards aren't working for you, Adam? Ha <laughs> ha You blew that sus horn. Ooh, Adam can't click oh, on any weird. of that. Are they blocked out for everyone? They we must punish be. Twitch. I mean, people have been redeeming them throughout the episode with the sound effects and stuff, so they shouldn't be blocked out for everybody. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in the stew. Oh. Wonderful. Well, that worked Thank for Fool. Fool. Thank you, Fool. Refreshing might help. What does this button do? What does this button do? Boil and mash them, stick them in the Thank stew. you for destroying that planet it's again. It's working for Fool-a-loo. 1B. Thank you. Thank you. Does refreshing help? <laughs> it can't hurt. Uh, kaboom! Oh, the phone is broken. Ha! Oh, suffering. It could be a phone broken. Suffering. Okay, so ca- the caterpillar makes cell phones. They do tough and ready tech flip phone Android, and a tough techy smart to own with flip. Ooh, a heat vision camera. Why the fuck do they have a heat vision camera? They like Batman. The Yakety Sacks. Well, the Yakety Sacks button isn't even there. So. Yakety Sacks. Yeah, it's not working because I. It's not there. Here's what the Caterpillar phone looks like. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I need one of those. Fuck. It's for like work on construction sites and stuff. So yeah. It's tough enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Theremin and Planet Destroy were listing as sold out. Oh, oh, we don't want Planet Destroy to be sold out. No, or Theremin, really. Yeah, but especially not Planet Destroy. They're not it, all there. It's not there. Some aren't there for suffering, yeah. but Planet Destroy should always be The Planet be Destroy is there. They're back for Lena. I think you have to let it Theremin. finish. I think you can't buy multiple at once. Mm. Can you play Snake on it? On that phone? Ah! You can play Snake on everything. Uh, What was the answer, Fluval? Well, we have to look at what they said. So one said Build World, two said Construction Land, six said Dig World, three said the Land of Caterpillar. The correct answer is Dig World. Dig World! You're right. Potatoes is not there currently. Boil well, we'll add stick potatoes stew. back. Potatoes, potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them to But stew. for now, we'll go to the leaderboard. Where Potanicus, Potanicus, Mo living with the land is in first place. Well, howdy, partner, in second. Potatoes, Bushala, Gardwala, and finally out of the hole. One B, Lightning, and Nathan Lane. A roller coaster. We have a wallaby. Hmm. No, the potatoes, the, potatoes, boil a mess. That's just a mistake. random generated uh, potatoes link name. It doesn't necessarily correspond. Potatoes, <gasps> potatoes, potatoes, boil a mess. Them, stick them in the stew. Okay. Potatoes, potatoes, boil a mess. Them, stick them in the stew. Potatoes, potatoes, taters, eh? Potatoes, potatoes. Why don't it, it should be back now? It was just disabled. And why don't we go? Boil and mash oh, them, stick them in the stew. We haven't. Did we say what the correct answer is? We Dig just World. Went to the leaderboard. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Dig World. But uh, we haven't seen Dig World. No, and they also, yeah, they haven't seen Dig World. I think you kind of have hmm. to see Dig World. That's that's some good suffering, Adam. Think. To uh, believe it. Here you go. Here's Dig World. Okay. You that to- potatoes. Boil them, mash, them, mash st- them, stick them in a stew. You get to potatoes. operate your very own construction equipment. That sounds really fun. Wow. Build your heart out at Dig World, Texas's first construction-themed amusement Ooh. park. Located just outside Katie Mills Mall in Katy, Texas. 
just outside the mall. Uh, just outside the mall. No simulators Today. Here. With over three and a half acres to play, mm. Dig World allows kids and adults to safely operate real heavy construction equipment. Mm. From skid steers to Can I do it unsafely? I think they prefer it with these guitars. Hike requirement to operate equipment. Worry not though. If your little ones potatoes, potatoes, boil them and mash them, stick them in a stew. Worry this looks so All fun. The stations Dig World has to offer. It is begging to go horribly wrong, but it Caterpillar does look really fine. Track, or hop in one of our UTVs Dig World better UTV face course. the right and prepare. <laughs> there are not cowards. Behind the controls of a Caterpillar mini excavator and dig real dirt to your See, heart's Caterpillar. Desire. Real dirt. Show them how it's done. Test Boom. your skills as you fish objects out of wow. many ponds. This just sort of feels like a thing you can, if you're a construction worker, you can take your kids to to like show yeah. them what you do. Like, check out the gem mining station after you pick up real dirt and your bag of sand from Pierce's. Uh, do they have a kill dozer? That is an important question. I like that you can do gold panning too. Take a break under the party pavilion. Dig Joe Dirt. Yard game on Dig the him. Field, like tower ball or cornhole. Cool. They're seriously fun for the whole family. <laughs> Cornhole. From the playground to the tiny digger sandbox, everyone is Do covered. they sell bags of sand as merch? Let us help host that would be amazing. They do. I mean, that's what they were doing. Outing. Wow. And don't forget that Dig World merch on the way out. Wow. Always dig. under construction, Dig World. Looks like Autotopia, but with bulldozers. It does into look like Autopia. It. Into it. Here for with, it. But with bulldozers. Uh, does it imply there is also a bear dozer? Bear dozer. That's what I would also like to know. Mm, these are questions that were not answered by that commercial. They weren't. We, uh, Kill dozer, bear dozer, we, we know not. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta recut the commercial to answer those important questions. Uh, dig world. That's right. Speaking of theme parks, why don't we go to question number eight? Ooh. On Hershey Park's Reese's Cup Fusion ride, riders become agents who help the Reese's Security Chief Commander Cup <laughs> protect which Reese protect Reese Reese's Central from which of these villains? Which of these villains do you help protect Reese's Central from in Hershey Park's Reese's Cup Fusion? Ooh, we don't know if there's a cow dozer either. Another great question. Um, prospector Cam. Citizen Kane, so like a candy cane. Crazy corn, like yeah, corn jawbreakers, like Jawbreaker, that movie where they accidentally killed that girl, yeah. um, and Mint the Merciless, love that. My mind refused to read this question. Says thanks for the void. <laughs> These are back of my head podcast. The rise facts, and I hate that I don't know. Ah, suffering. Okay, I'm just gonna sit tight on my positive mm. points. Says single walk run. Well, interesting strategy. Let's see what you all pick. Mint the merciless. <laughs> oh no! If he's if, it's, if he's like oh, Ming the merciless, no. he would. Yeah, but oh, folks love it. Uh, none of you thought Citizen Kane. One of you thought Crazy Corn. Minotaur. Six of you said Jawbreaker. Not three of you said Mint the merciless. All of these are real. They make up the villain. You could have made a yeah. bunch of points, 1B. They you make up done it. the League of could've Misfit Candies. Suffering, suffering. Uh, thank God. Uh, well, I think God. Thank God. Thank God. Agents, welcome to Reese's Central inside Hershey Park. I am Commander Cup, head of security. Beginning summer Look, we got we got to set them up to knock them down. Exactly. Well, howdy, partner. Exactly. Our advanced facility will produce thousands of Reese's each day. The Reese's security team is responsible. Yeah, and, 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 and single walk run stuff. Together, from trying we will ensure the world out. is never deprived of Reese's. The factory is powered by the Crystal Cup, which Suffering. collects the world's love of chocolate yeah. and peanut Think butter, gore. known as Reese's Tears. Think, uh, and uh, gore, but they have to protect energy. the Reese's spirit. Mint, the Merciless, and the League of Misfit Candy have tried numerous times the to the League of Crystal Misfit Cup Candy. for their own yeah. evil purposes. Agents, Reese's Central needs you. Are you up for the mission? Wow. 
yeah, there is deep lore. Yeah, take out your guns and shoot that evil candy. <laughs> this is not Amy Poehler. Uh, <laughs> definitely not Amy Poehler. Uh, yes, this is the same voice. Also, um, we have something else. <laughs> it does look like Flu Forbes shit. We have a... Um, uh, I don't know. Mint the Merciless was so powerful it couldn't be contained to a single ride. Well, Howdy Partner was there. Oh, wow. Riders become agents who help the Reese's Security Chief Commander Cup protect Reese's Central Farm from which of these villains? I love it. Is this a rewrite of that question? No, that is literally the question. just literally the question. I On love On Hershey that. Park's Reese's Cup Fusion, riders become agents who help the Reese's Security Chief Commander Cup protect Reese's Central from which of these villains? <laughs> this, this feels like a test for voiceover people. Like, read this in a way that makes sense. And see, here we go. This is Minty yes. B's, the ride that the Misfit Candies took over. Single ride run. <laughs> um, Mint the Merciless. It's like Nandor the Relentless. Um, Duke of here. Doubt fan fiction. Ooh, did you know on Hershey Park's Reese's Cup Fusion, riders become agents who <laughs> help the Reese's Security Chief Commander Cup protect Reese's Central? Yeah, they fight Mint the Merciless, Beans. Grand Overlord of the League of Misfit Candies, who's Peppermint, mostly Pepper, Power Ooh. Hungry, Chip on Shoulder, Crystal Cup Obsession, Ooh. Heartless, the Helpless Romantic, who's a Be Mine Heart, who's president of the Mint the Merciless fan club, marches to her own beat, Master of Martial Arteries. That's, that's pretty funny. Martial Arteries. Yeah. And talks yeah. during movies. Crazy Corn is the Wild One. A few kernels <laughs> short of a carb. Today Cop. I learned. That on Hershey Park's Reese's Cup Fusion, riders become agents who help the Reese's security chief, Commander <laughs> Cup, protect Reese's Central. <laughs> Zodiac sign. Crazy Capricorn. Corn is a few kernels short of a cob, enjoys freakouts and ramming things, may pop at any time. And yeah. Capricorn. 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 Jawbreaker, the lawbreaker. Suffer. Cracked. Does not play well with others. Likes breaking things. A flavor? <laughs> Don't ask. Sorry, Slytherin Slur Squirm. Slytherin Squirm are the worm twins who are stuck on Slytherin each other. Two faced, twisted, and are frequent crawlers. <laughs> Mmm. Don't let it keep you down. Don't let it keep Gumdrops you down. Gumdrops are the henchmen, countless, unruly, mischievous, accident prone. That's just directions. Gumbo, the bouncing brawn, is a gummy bear who's flavored like Brussels sprouts, enjoys gummy parkour, and is missing an ear. <laughs> and Citizen Kane, the merry mischief maker, is a candy cane with faded stripes who's naughty, not nice, and likes yeah. to make a scene. Nothing about him being a newspaper mogul? No, nothing about him being a newspaper mogul with nothing a sled. Nothing about Rosebud? No, nothing wow. about Rosebud, they nothing really about Hearst at all. left that on the table. They sure Gummy did. Gummy parkour. Gummy parkour. TM. TM. <laughs> Let's Gummy parkour to the leaderboard, where Potanicus Mo living with the land is in first, while Howdy Partner still in second. Bushala Gardwala in third, <laughs> Lightning Nathan Lane in fourth, and Missy Toad's Wild Ride in fifth, Sufferland in sixth, Single Walk Roller Coaster in seventh, Jazz Fads in Park Trivia the second time in eighth, a Mister Named Six, do 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 with negative one point, Six Blogs Great Adventure in tenth, a Roller Coaster of Love eleventh, Six 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 Flags. Gaz in 12th and six Gaz fools Gaz in 13th as we go to our penultimate question <gasps> the penultimate question in so addition sorry. to rides dollywood is home to the robert f thomas chapel a church which holds weekly mass who was robert f thomas hmm. was that dolly parton parton's father dolly parton's first husband the doctor who delivered dolly parton or the preacher who baptized Dolly Parton. I like that the chapel is named after a living person. Well, like not like I don't know. I've never I've always only seen like chapels that are like Saint 
Paul Chapel or like Saint Mother Mary of the Sacred Suffering Chapel. I wish I remembered Dolly Parton's history. Don't we all? Yeah, Don't it's also all? the name. There's also a song called Dr. Robert F. Thomas and an album. Mm. Oh, it's on the album My Tennessee Mountain Home. Interesting. Interesting. Eagle eared listeners might now know the answer. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Three of the four are the same man. Two of you said Dolly Parton's father. One of you said Dolly Parton's first husband. Two said the doctor who delivered Dolly Parton. Five said the preacher who baptized Dolly Parton. And I quickly checked the lyrics to that song to make sure two of them aren't correct now that I think about it. Because the correct answer is... Uh, uh, the doctor who delivered Dolly Parton. That's right. That's right. Move on, move on, move on. Terixi. Fuck. Because as she says in the song, Dr. Thomas was a man the Lord must have appointed to live among us mountain folks in eastern Tennessee, and he delivered more than half the babies in those mountains. Among those babies, he delivered me. Fuck! 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 So much cursing for a Dolly Fuck. Parton question. Fuck! Here's Fuck. the chapel. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, it was made to look like an Appalachian chapel because hmm. before it was Dollywood, it was Gold Rush Junction was the name of the park. Fuck. Before they rethemed Fuck. it around Dolly Parton. Fuck! But got it so, right! Yeah, it was, it, well, first it was Silver Dollar City. Fuck. Well, first it was Gold Rush Junction, then it was Silver City, Silver Dollar City, Tennessee. And then it was Dollywood. And it cost less than $35,000 to build that chapel in 1973. Wow. And it's... They got donations from churches, schools, and families. And they dedicated parts of it to the people who donated. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! The chapel bell was given Fuck. by Mrs. Brad King. Fuck! 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 Here's Jesus. Oh, lovely. Here's the doc. Here's Robert F. There he Thomas is. Himself. Shuck. Shuck. And it's open on Fuck. Sundays. Yeah, it's open on Fuck. Sundays, even though they used to have blue laws that wouldn't let it be open. What the hell? Well, they wouldn't let anything be open. Oh, oh. Well, well. no, they, would, they wouldn't oh, let the park. Oh. They wouldn't let the park be open. Fuck. And so by extension, they couldn't get to the Fuck. chapel. Fuck. But the chapel made it so they had to have it open. The park open on Sundays. Cock. Cock. Fuck. Fuck. He was an advocate of immunization. Yeah, right? And set up clinics all around oh, the county. That's lovely. To make healthcare accessible to more people, and he even did house calls. Wow. Look at those. These are the prayer requests. Fuck. This is the... Fuck. And you can sign the names as you come through, and this is the signed book with all the names. Frack. <laughs> like a dog in Minecraft, or, you know, something honorable. That That is, you know, the things the doctors deserve. It's true. It's true. Or maybe our Ooh. leaderboard, where Potanicus Molasses, Ooh. despite getting it wrong, is in first place. Lightning Nathan Lane got it right up to second. Well, howdy, partner, has fallen to third. Ooh, well, howdy. Bushala Gardwala in fourth. Sufferland in fifth. Missy Toad's wild ride in sixth. Single walk roller coaster in seventh. Jazz Fats in park <laughs> trivia the second time in eighth. <laughs> I was delivered by doctor on Hershey Park's Reese's Cup Fusion. Riders become agents who help the Reese's security <laughs> chief, Commander Cup, protect Reese's central. 44 points! How good! Ooh, how good! Well, let's see if your luck continues on our final question, but first, wager your points. Today I learned. This next question your is points. about a Canadian wager theme park. Wager your points. How many, uh, how points, many is points is the sound alert for? <laughs> <laughs> On Hershey's Park Reese's Cup Fusion, 
Riders become agents. <laughs> Move up the Reese's security chief, Commander Cup. Protect Reese's central. Going to cost. Things from the void is all in. All as in. Is all in. Only half. Who made Maddie? Only half. What points? Suffering. 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 Suffer. In It'd the be face great if you had trivia. to like wager at the point that the timer is going down for the amount of points that you want to do. Yeah, that would be good. Here we go. West ah! Edmonton Mall is home to Galaxy Land, a theme park powered by which com which toy company? Ooh, Funko, Hasbro, okay. Connects, or Mattel? Hmm. Powered here is used because that is in the name of the theme park is now Galaxy Land, powered by toy mm. company. I see. Rather than just making it like Toy Company Land. And you have lovely Walden Bucks. Yeah, here's a mall. Here's just because mm -hmm. it's a mall. <laughs> Fuck. 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 Now is. Ooh, 1B has a gut answer. Uh, dreaming of things being powered by Kinex. Funko? Funko? Of pop fame? Of a pop? Has to be fuck. Has oh, to be fuck those cops. Oh, fuck. Powered by coal. Uh, well, it's a coin flip. That's an interesting strategy. A Freddy Funko himself. Fuck. 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 You know what? I, I mean, another answer would be and when you go to this park, you hold the Freddy power fucko. of a sun in your hands, Peter. Freddy Fucko. It's the power of the sun. In your hands. hands. I'm Alfred Molina. Uh, One of you said Funko. Fudge. Five of you said Hasbro. Fuck. Four of you said Phoenix. None Fuck. of you thought it was Mattel, the maestros behind the Barbie movie. Mm. Ah, shit. I said a movie. It's okay, Fluffle. Strike, uh, Strike Captain Barbie is not offended. Good. Well, let's see what you pick. Fuck. Five of you got it right. It's Hasbro. Powered by Hasbro. Galaxyland opened as Fantasyland in 1983. Until they were, that's right. They yes. opened in the 80s as Fantasyland and thought they could get away with it. Okay. And then Disney said, no, no, no. Or should I say they said, no, no, no. Huh? And they Fuck. sued them. Huh? Here's a lawsuit. You've been served. Fuck. And in 1995, it became Galaxy Land, which came along with a space-age theming <laughs> and a new up. alien mascot named Cosmo. Mm. And then in 2008, it became what we now see before us. Yeah. Yeah. Funko Land. Galaxy Park, powered by Hasbro, is the only Hasbro theme park in Canada. It's North America's largest indoor amusement park with 27 exhilarating rides and play areas for all ages. A total of three and a half acres of family-friendly rides will be transformed into an amusement park wonderland for all friends. So this is actually open. This is just the post from when they announced it. Yeah, they own D&D. Yeah, they do. They bought... They, Mr. And Malibu's yet they're not using it. They have the fuck. Dizzy Dodos, where you it's teacups but in Play-Doh tins. Ooh, okay. The Hungry Hungry Hippos Feeding Frenzy. Flight Amazing. to Equestria, where you ride hot air balloons into the land of My Little Pony. It's true, it's the same size as Dick World. The Sari Sliders Bumper Cars, and on the ceiling there's a Sari board. Micro Machines Arrow, Rainbow Bounce. The colors Bounce, are nice. Monopoly Railroad. <laughs> Micro Machines Moto Jump, and Super Simon. <sighs> It's in a mall, so it's probably half the size of Dig World, but we know the exact size, right? It's a big mall. Three acres. Play-Doh tins? Oh, three and a half acres. Ugh. Yeah. Repulsive. See, you're in Play-Doh tins. <laughs> yeah, Monopoly Railroad is pretty cute. Uh... <laughs> Super Simon. You get uh, the colored thing you're standing on opens up and you get sucked under. No, I did. I don't want the. Uh, Sorry. I don't want, I don't want video of someone standing by Monopoly <laughs> Railroad. I want video of people riding Monopoly Railroad. Wow. 
they are advertising commercially available arcade game Super Simon as a selling point. Yes, yeah, they are. For the theme park. I love that. Super Simon. Super Simon. So, Floofal. What? Who won trivia? Oh, I was going to prolong this up oh, okay. a little bit. But yeah, yeah, let's do can, it. Let's no, do it. No, I mean, that's a little mistake. It was Hasbro. Did. Okay. Okay. Come to Simon, it's Disneyland. We have a Rampage machine. That's true. But Ooh, now Archie we have our Simon. winners. Yes. In third place, it's Well Howdy Partner with Tony. Congratulations. Points. In second place, it's Bushala Gargawala with 244 points. Who lost the most. And in first place, it's Lightning Nathan Lane. Lightning Nathan Lane coming out of nowhere to take the crown. That's why we say trivia is always anyone's game. And six fools. Six fools you lost the most. You need it. Six Was that fools. you, Void? Six fools lost the most with negative 302 oh. points. Congratulations to Things from the Void for winning our game of trivia. And congratulations to Six Fools for losing our game of trivia. And so Void will get a prize just for them, but there's something that you'll all get to share in. Chat new. That's right, we just destroyed an Earth, and you all That's got right. to witness it. Just like Beautiful. next week on Beautiful. Grand Trivia, you'll be able to witness and witness another exciting episode of Grand Trivia. Next week, it'll be all about Pepsi. That's Pepsi? right. Pepsi? For episode 99. You mean not Coke? No, for episode 99, we have a Pepsi Trivia. If you were hoping for Coke Trivia, I just have one thing no. to say. Potatoes. Is Pepsi okay? Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> Is it okay, Annie? Is, Is it okay? Pepsi okay? It better be, because that's the theme next week on Grand Trivia. It does include everything made by PepsiCo. You'll have to watch to find out. The trivia questions are already written. Pepsi, drink of choice for Home Alone. Potatoes. Worth Boil it. Them, and of course, the week after that, on August 23rd, be sure to join us for episode 100 of Grand Trivia, where some special guests will be joining us. So you Ooh, won't want to miss episode 100 episode of Grand 100. Trivia on August 23rd. But before that, next week, August 16th, it's Pepsi Trivia, and we'll see you then, because we have your coordinates. Here he comes Swimming Closer than farther away On Hershey Park's Reese's Cup Fusion, riders become agents who help the Reese's security chief, Commander Cup, protect Reese's Central from which of these villains? Oh, <laughs> 